Hello and welcome back to another video on discord.py voice rewrite version. Uh, today I'll be going over how to add a skip or a next command. Basically the same thing. Um, before we get started though I would like to address a few bugs in my code. So if we come down here, so line 150 in the play command, where we do the name split and we do it equaling a new name and we do that. This, someone pointed out in the comments that this can cause an error. Basically, if you want to keep this, you put it into a try block, kind of like this. Tab. Accept. And then copy this. There. Get rid of that. And there. So this, if it does throw up an error, it will just come down here and print this into the Discord instead of just stopping and not working at all. Um, but if you want to just get rid of it, you can. That's what I'm going to do. Alright. So it's just going to print that out now whenever we do the play cam command all right and then the next thing is uh the stop command if some of you have been using the stop command you will notice that it actually acts kind of like a next command if you have a queue right so let me i'll show you how it works so i'll rerun this here sorry right, we're there let's come over here join general let's have it join Alrighty, so it's in there. We do slash play and copy this link here. Alrighty, so it's getting everything ready. It's going to download the song. Once that's done, we will queue it up. Queuing that up. So this is playing here, as it should be. And then... So it's added to the song, so if we come over here, we'll see Q, one song in there, and then we're playing this song here. So if we come back over here, and we use the stop command, right? So you notice it's playing, and you hit the stop, it's going to play the next song, right? Then we use the stop command again, and it'll just stop the music. Alrighty, so we'll just leave this, and then we will leave. And then we'll come back over to here. Okay, so the reason that is, is because the stop command here. Let's stop this. Alright, so the stop command is basically just going, it's clearing the queue um, dictionary that we have. And then it's going here, making sure that we're in the voice channel, and it's playing, printing that, and then stopping. So what stopping it does is it comes up, so we're in the play command now. So it after, it goes, oh, the song just stopped, so after, check Q. So it goes up here and runs this, this function here, and this checks the Q, right? We don't want that to happen, so we don't want the stop command to call this but I don't there's not a way around that so basically what we have to do is um, delete the queue folder and the whole all the queued songs whenever we use the stop command that's the basic way around that so we will do do an enter here and we'll do Q underscore in file equals OS dot path dot is dir we'll do q u u e right so we're basically checking so this is the stop command so whenever we stop it'll check for the q folder and this will be a boolean of true or false if it's in there or not all right and then we'll do an if statement here so if q in file is true we want to 
Chatil dot remove tree Q. Right? That's it. So you're if you don't have this imported up here at the top, Chatil. This allows you to remove folders that are full of uh full of files, right? Um so you're just gonna chatil dot remove tree Q. So now if we do it, let's run this again and we'll come back over here. Alrighty, so we join here, slash join. Alrighty, play this, cue that, give it a second here. Alrighty, so it's playing. Queuing up another song here. There we go, it's queued. So if we come back over here, we'll notice that we have the song in the queue. And we're playing this current one here. So now, if we use the stop command, stop, it'll just stop it and won't play the next one, right? So we'll just leave. And then we leave. All right. Then if we come over here, we'll notice that the Q, the Q folder is gone, but this one's still here. So that's not a big deal because whenever we use the net, whenever we use the play command, it'll just delete that. But I'm just gonna delete that for right now. Alrighty. So the stop command was acting like a next command. So basically, what we're gonna do is just copy the stop command and use it as our basis for the next command. All right. So we'll rename this the next. Make sure our aliases are in the X. Alrighty. And then we will remove these lines here because we don't want it to clear the queues and we don't want it to remove our queue folder. So we'll clear that. And we'll just print playing next song all right and then we'll stop it and then it'll just it'll in the play command it'll do the after lambda function and then just put next song here no music playing failed to play next song no music playing failed we'll just put failed for this one we don't want to make it too long um, and then there, that's it. That's all there is. So we'll rerun this. Come back over here. We'll do join this. We'll do a slash join. Right there it is. Command C. Play. And then we'll Q. All right, playing song. Hear it here. Now we're queuing, adding one song to queue. All right, we'll add one more to the queue, actually. So then if we come back over here, synchronize it, we have two in the queue, one here, right? So then come back over to our Discord and we type slash next. Now we're playing it the next song. Come back over here. Let's see what happens. So we have song one is out here now, renamed to song. And then this one's song two. Alright. And then come back over here. Slash next. Over here. We have nothing in the queue folder. And the song two is out here renamed to song.mp3. So now if we come over here and we queue up queue up another song and then we use the stop command it'll just stop it so there we go slash stop there we go music stopped and then if we pop back over here to our pie charm here you'll see that the queue command or the queue folder is gone 
And that's it. That's a basic next command. So, uh, as the last video in these in the series, I would like to uh, say that these commands are very basic, very basic commands, and they're they're meant to be built off of, and in some case redone slash optimized. Like these are not the most optimized commands, um, but I leave that for you guys to do. Build off of them. Do whatever you want with them. Yeah, these last five videos are meant to give you the basics uh, with these commands. Um, so you can basically build off of them. Um, and that's all there is to it. As always, in the description, there's uh, links to the first five videos. Uh, there's always a link to the Discord server that I uh, run. That's where you can go if you want some help. Um, doesn't matter if you want help with this or anything related to this or something else to do with PyCharm. Or not PyCharm, just Python in general. Um... Yeah, or you just come over and stop, say hi, whatever. Um, there's going to be a download link to this video code. Uh, download link to FFmpeg. In our first video, that is, uh, I showed you how to download and install FFmpeg. And then there will be a link to a bot that I've also been working on that if you want to download it, take a look at it, get some ideas from it. It's over like 2,000 lines of code, I think. Um, but yeah. Alrighty, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.